Hey Jags, it's Guest Star Week. Today, we'll take a look at staying safe, club news, space news, sports talk, the existence of Santa Claus, holiday gifts, and connecting with TJTV. First Things First on TJTV starts right now. Good morning, Toby Johnson. I'm Herpre, and it's First Things First period on Monday, December 10th, 2018. That means it's time for First Things First on TJTV. I'm Mr. Mora. Guest Star Week starts today. Guest Star Week is a TJTV holiday tradition when staff members guest star on the show. If you would like to be a guest star this holiday season, email Mrs. LaChapelle. Guest Star Week will continue through next, through, through next Tuesday, December 18th. The last day of TJTV this year will be next Tuesday. Being safe, kind, respectful, and responsible is part of being a student at TJMS. It is a season of holiday gift shopping. As online shopping becomes more popular, cases of thieves stealing gifts are more common. If you're going on a trip and are expecting a package, have a reliable neighbor keep it for you until you come back. Now let's go to Miss Otani to learn about the mathematics of Christmas. The existence of Santa Claus is one of the most controversial topics during the holiday season. Many people doubt his existence. Bold jean stockings full of presents that appear on Christmas have many people begging to differ. Thankfully, mathematics help clear things up. The doubtful have calculated what it takes for Santa to do his magic in one night every year. Surely all those cookies can't be his only fuel for the night, right? If Santa were to visit the 1.9 billion children in the world, he would have to travel at 3,000 times the speed of sound while carrying more than 300,000 tons of presents. That's about the weight of six Titanic ships. Richard Dawkins, an ethologist, has insisted that the lack of any noticeable sonic booms from all that zipping about at supersonic speeds is more evidence that Santa Claus cannot possibly be real. All the, of this skepticism so it illustrates the difference between scientific and mathematical proof. The harder you try and fail to show that Santa cannot exist, the more support you have for your theory that he must. Thanks, Mrs. Otani. Holiday grams will be sold in the student store annex during your lunch from December 10th through the 14th. They each cost one, they each cost one dollar. You can choose from a sour, can, sour candy chocolate bar, or a pair of cozy socks to send to your friends. Now please note that we will only be selling one pair of socks per person per day. And don't forget, you have to know your friend's fifth period class. There's a lot of news from space. Let's go to Mrs. Sapsis to learn more about it. SpaceX has made sure it's got its money's worth out of its Falcon 9 rocket. Last week, the rocket successfully completed another mission by carrying the Dragon spacecraft, which was filled with almost 6,000 pounds of supplies and payloads for the International Space Station. Four days earlier, SpaceX uh, successfully completed another space flight with the Falcon rocket that sent 64 small satellites into orbit for clients from Brazil, Canada, South Korea, and the UK. And that's your news from space. I'm Mrs. Sapsis. Well, shucks, that's interesting. Thanks, Miss Sapsis. Spirit Week is next week. Come out and show your Jaguar spirit on December 17th through December 21st. For Monday, December 17th, we will be having Holiday Song Lyric Day. You can dress up as a singer, a song lyric, or even a holiday song. For example, for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, dress up as a reindeer. On Tuesday the 18th, we have Toby It's Cold Outside Day. You can wear scarves, gloves, and sweaters, and even earmuffs. On Wednesday the 19th, we'll have Ugly Sweater Day. Wear your best ugly sweater. On Thursday the 20th, we have Be Your Best Self or Be Your Best Elf Day. You can wear elf ears, red and green. 
Lastly, we have the Christmas morning PJs slash Polar Express Pajamas Day. For this day, you can wear a onesie or your PJs. Be creative while showing your spirit, and please remember that dress code still replies. Well, the basketball season is well underway. We have a couple of special guests in the studio who are experts about the season. Let's welcome Roman Bacay and Isabella Whitehead to the studio. Bella. And I'm Roman, and it's time to talk sports, sports talk. talk. We'd like to start the show today by talking about this year's basketball season for both boys and the girls teams. The boys team is currently undefeated at 5-0. and zero. The boys team was undefeated all last year too. Roman, as an undefeated team, what is your biggest challenge? Every team out there is trying to take us down, so our coach constantly reminds us not to become complacent, to stay humble, and bring our best to the court every day. And your team is certainly doing that. Can you share a couple of specific stories? Okay, well, we have a player, Kanye Clark, who has just returned to the court after an injury and is getting a lot of court time because his attitude shows that he's out of the game because of a small setback. And then there's Kiku Parker, who is known for scoring more than 10 points per game. There's just a story like that for every guy on the team. That's what makes us so strong. Tell us about the girls' team. Right now, our team is 3-2. and two. We are working hardest on communicating and moving the ball. What's your team's greatest strength? I'd say sisterhood. We really trust each other on the court. We got, a, we got some strong players such as Malia Egan and Yasmin Silva and a lot of players who give their all every game, like Maddie Lee and Sadie Vong. And I work hard, too. Our next games are tomorrow here at Toby against Harriet Eddy. We hope you all come support your Jaguars basketball teams. If you want to catch some basketball tonight, you watch the Kings play the Bulls tonight at 5 p.m. The Kings are 12-11 and 11 right now and don't stand a chance ag tonight against the Bulls. We still like them, though, because they're our Kings. It's been great being here. We'll come back anytime you want us to talk. Sports, Sports talk. talk. Thanks, Roman and Bella. Now we're going to talk about the top eight tech gifts. Coming in at number eight is the Philips Hue Starter Kit. This is a smart light bulb. This light bulb's color changes in setting. It's changeable. This product starts at $75. Number seven is the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. This is a class and gaming system from the 1990s and is still popular. This starts at $80. Number six is the Amazon Echo. This is a device where you can tell it what to do. This starts at $99. Number five is the Google Daydream. This is a virtual reality headset that links up to your phone. It starts at $99. Number four is the Echo Spot by Amazon. The Echo Spot is a video device where you can video chat with your friends. This st starts at $129. Coming in at number three is a BioLite Campfire. This is a device that takes fire and turns it into energy to charge your phone. This starts at $129. That's fire. The number two product is the four terabyte flash drive or 4,000 gigabytes. To put this in perspective, Fortnite takes about 18 gigabytes of space. That means that this small flash drive can store about 222 Fortnites. Yeah. This starts at $150. Finally, the number one gift is, drum roll please, the Beats X headphones. These are supposedly one of the best wireless earbuds, and these amazing headphones start at $200. Now let's go to Miss La Chapelle, the woman behind TJTV, to learn about TJTV Interactive. <laughs> Hey, Toby Johnson, I'm Mrs. LaChapelle, and I'm here to talk about a gift that keeps on giving. That gift is TJTV Interactive. Every Toby student was sent an email last week with a link to a Google form that has been designed to help you interact with TJTV. Currently, you can share things such as a video of your dad telling his favorite joke. As an example, here's my dad telling a couple of his. Hi, guys. I got a couple of jokes for you. First, I'd like to say I thought about going on a all almond he didn't diet, even, he didn't but even, uh, that's just nuts. So need you to do. Secondly, I'd like to ask you a question. What do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? Well, you get frostbite. <laughs> Have a good time, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You can also share videos or pictures of your pets for Pet of the Week. Let's take a look at my dogs. 
Um, this is Bella and Jackie and Buddy and Cooper. And they are all four rescue dogs that make my house uh, a lot of fun uh, and a lot of crazy times, especially when the doorbell rings. Um, anyway, you could share stuff about your pets or when you're on winter break, you could send a video of what you're doing during your vacation. To participate, all you need to do is log into your EGUSD Google account at home and then click the link in your student view. New topics are going to come on TJTV Interactive all the time. Uh, so we've already seen some amazing things that were shared on TJTV Interactive, and we can't wait to see what you share next. Thanks, Mrs. LaChapelle. The giant snow globe is coming on Friday, December 14th. Take pictures with friends in a life-size snow globe during your elective period. Buy your time slot for $1 at the student store windows. You have up to six friends join you, and yes, you can get to miss class. Let's go to Mrs. Kincaid's for some club news. There will be a cake decorating club meeting today after school in room MC11. All mathletes, January permission slips are due for the next competition. We are going over last week's practice sheets. See you on Friday from 7.30 to 8. There will be a double raffle drawing in Miss Otani's room. Attention Battle of the Bookers. We are meeting this Thursday, December 13th, 7th grade in MF8, Miss Neff's room, 8th grade in MG11, Miss Rojas' room. If you need to pick up your book, stop by the library. Otherwise, see you Thursday. Dynamics will be meeting this Wednesday after school. The DIY Club will be meeting today at lunch. Well, thanks, Ms. Kincaid. And that wraps it up for today's show. Tune in tomorrow for more stories and information on First, first Things First, first on TJTV. TV. I'm Mr. Mora. Thank you for watching. And I'm Herpreet. Make today your best day yet.